Hey guys, my name is Seth Fenby and uh, this is an inspection. What I have here is a Caterpillar D5M LGP. The decal is kind of faded here. But uh, we're going to walk around with the major components and then I will start the machine up. Okay guys, what we have here is the uh, left side undercarriage. If you're sitting in the machine, here are the pads. These are built up Grouser bars. It's kind of hard to see, but they are built up. They're in very good condition and they're well above the bolt heads. But it was a very good job done on the build up here, I think. You can see down here around the pyramid. Here we have the final drive and the sprockets. The sprockets are in excellent condition. Here's the chain. The chain's in very good condition, probably 50, 60 percent at least. Here's the idler. It's worn down a little bit there, it looks like. Top roller is worn, as you can see here. It's worn down. And the front idler is worn down, as you can see right here. Here we have the bottom rollers. They look to be in pretty good condition. Up underneath the uh, track group and the pins and bushings for the final drive there. Okay, the sheet metal in this machine is in good condition. The decals are faded and some of the lettering has worn off. The cab is in very good condition. If you walk around, you can see here. Just the rear air conditioner and the cab. Here is the serial number plate. Here's a shot up underneath the machine, left side track group, right side. Okay, as we walk around here, hopefully this is focusing, it's a little blurry. The rest of the sheet metal is in good condition here. The cab, looks like the lights are all intact and everything. Here we are on the right side. The front grill is in very nice shape, there's no bends or anything there, not dented in. Okay, here we have the right side undercarriage. Uh, you can see here, this is a new pad. Looks like there were some new pads put in in some places, but some pads have been built up. If you look really close, you can see they've been built up here on this side. Okay, here we have the right side sprocket and final drive assembly and the chain. Pin bosses and uh, the idler. Top roller, it's worn. Pins and bushings. Front idler. Here's some more of the chain. Okay. Okay, here we have the uh, blade linkage. The blade linkage all is in good condition. There's no excessive play in the pins. The back of the blade is in good condition, and the cylinders all operate well. There's one around uh, to the front of the blade. Cutting edge is in fair condition. It's worn down some. And uh, the blade skin is in good condition. It's not worn extremely bad, but it is worn down some. You can see we're starting to dent in there a little bit. It's really not in the worst shape. It looks like it's set up for a root rake or some type of attachment here. It's going around to the uh, back of the other side of the blade here in the cylinders. Okay, here's a shot down in the engine compartment. From what I can see, the engine compartment is very clean and the engine is very clean. Here we are inside the cab. Seats in uh, very good condition and the seat rests. As you can see here, here's actually one of the lights, so I was wrong, all the lights aren't intact. But um, the flooring has a couple tears in it, as you can see here. Here we are sitting inside the machine. Here's the front console, the left controls, and the blade controls here. Fingertip. Let's cycle. Let's start this machine up. Here's the hour meter, reading 7,165 hours, and the meters, which all seem to work fine.